Well, Lynn Haven voters have the most ballot issues to decide, including selecting a mayor, three city commissioners, and four city charter referendums. The high profile race in Lynn Haven was between incumbent Mayor Jesse Nelson and former city commissioner Judy Tinder. Tinder resigned her commission seat to run for mayor. Here's how that voter turned out. Jesse Nelson will remain a mayor of Lynn Haven for another four years. News 13's Courtney Evans met with the candidates last night and has more on their reaction to the results. Jesse Nelson and Judy Tinder were both standing by last evening, anxiously waiting for their results. Both candidates are well-known public officials in the city of Lynn Haven. Judy Tinder watched the numbers come in alongside several other candidates, including Richard Walker, Brian Gray, and Ellen Fields. Jesse Nelson gathered with friends and family for his election party. Now that he has been re-elected, he plans to work alongside Lynn Haven commissioners to move forward with ongoing projects. As being re-elected as mayor is to make sure we continue to focus on our stormwater, continue to focus on reducing our city debt, um, also just improving our quality of life and safety. We live in a great community, a safe community, and I just want to now try to expand some of the, the businesses that we have here for families. We also spoke with Judy Tinder. She says she is proud of her campaign and all the support she received. It's, uh, it's very, uh, does my heart good, you know. Uh, people know that I tell the truth, good or bad. And if I don't know something, I simply say I don't know that until I can find out. So um, I appreciate the support from everybody. Re-elected Mayor Nelson says work with his team of elected officials begins tomorrow. He wants to keep the city of Lynn Haven on a path to become a better place for everyone. Three commission seats in Lynn Haven were also on the ballot. In the Lynn Haven Commission seat four race, two people campaigned to replace Judy Tinder, who vacated the spot. Ellen Fields, who ran for mayor two years ago, challenged appointed commissioner Judy Hobbs Vandergriff. Vandergriff brought home the win with 62% of the vote. The commission appointed Vandergriff with, uh, to fill the position in February after Judy Tinder resigned to run for mayor. Vandergriff says she's going to continue pursuing all the projects she worked on in the past few months. In the Lynn Haven C1 race, there were three newcomers. And because no one took 50% plus 1% of the vote, there will be a runoff between Sam Peebles and Brian Lee Gray on May 16th. Peebles took 40% of the ballots to Gray's 35%. The runoff election will take place on May 16th. Lynn Haven C2 was a race between the incumbent Pat Perneau and challenger Richard T. Walker. Perneau was reelected by 65% of the vote. Perneau is a longtime businessman in Lynn Haven. He says he's excited to serve the city of Lynn Haven as a commissioner again.